got me into art. My mother claims that I have been holding a crayon in my hand since I was a year and a half old, and she saved all of the little post-its that I was scribbling on. And I was raised in a very creative family. Um, my mother is an entrepreneur, and she always has been, and she's owned several different businesses. Uh, my dad is a still alive black and white photographer. He was a contractor before that. So I've always had really creative people around me. And um, I think one of the biggest reasons that I was thrown into art is because my mother recognized my talent and she encouraged it. So I'm so thankful for that. A thing that all artists know and that we've all been told since the beginning of our careers and teaching is that if you are not selling your art then it's just a hobby which is a harsh truth but it is a truth and once you find your niche and kind of um, people that gravitate towards your work and understand it and appreciate it then you really feel motivated and encouraged to sell it and produce it and of course when people ask about it as well like oh I love it um, where can I find it things like that and you realize okay I have something here and I need to do something about it so to me I finally got to that point one thing I do want to tap on is I think it is very important for people who want to pursue art that they feel timid about it or they feel like the things they're creating are not worth putting out into the internet or um, having a showing or whatever it might be. So what I have to say to those people is to keep making and to keep pushing. And if art is something that you have ever felt was a calling of yours, then that is huge and that means something because there are so many people in this world who have never felt that. Artists are chosen just like athletes are chosen and doctors are chosen and it is a profession and it is real. And you can make money off of it if you just push, that is the word of the day, and believe in yourself. And you owe that to yourself to give it a shot with a part-time job. It's a balance, just like with any other job, like if you're a mom and you have a full-time job or whatever. It's more so learning how to compartmentalize your life. So I have to go there, do my job, be a wonderful presence, um, be a beam of light if I can, and then have time and have the mental space to come back home and create. So it's really nice being so excited to come back home and want to paint and not be so completely flat out on the floor that thinking about putting another paintbrush is like the last thing on my mind because that's when you know that the balance is unhealthy. I think that art is the ultimate medicine. I feel like I have this really cool job where I get to make things that hopefully make people think a little bit deeper and make people feel a little bit happier maybe than they did before they looked at it. My name is Allison James. My company is Allison James Co. and you can find me on Instagram at allisonjames.co.